Welcome back to the News at Six. The deadline to submit your videos for this year's virtual Sweetheart Passion Plunge has been extended to February 21st. MTN's Alexia Guayo met with a couple of groups who showed us exactly how to support Special Olympics Montana from home. Freeze. 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 The Sweetheart Polar Plunge traditionally does not look like this. <laughs> the event is typically held at Spring Meadow Lake, but due to the pandemic, the event has gone virtual, meaning community members are encouraged to jump on their own. We're a Special Olympics club at Carroll College, and this is our video for the Polar Plunge. And just because the event went virtual, these groups say it shouldn't stop the support for Special Olympics Montana. It's because it's still something that needs supported, you know, like just because COVID is happening, we can't just toss everything to the wayside. Like, so this is still actively going on, COVID or not. And so we still wanted to do this and raise the money because we can. The Special Olympics Club at Carroll College had five of their members participate in this plunge. The club states they've surpassed their fundraising goal of $500. I have a cousin who has autism, so causes like these are very personal to me and I feel like it's crucial to do something about it, even though it's virtual. So I'm excited that we can still do it this year. In total, the Sweetheart Plunge has raised nearly $6,000 as of Sunday morning. Their goal is $36,000. As one sponsor says, it's still not too late to donate. This is actually my 11th year being involved with the Sweetheart Passion Plunge, and I just needed to continue that on. Everybody's going to be freezing for a reason. In Helena, I'm Alexi Guayo, MTN News. All right, now speaking of freezing, <laughs> here's Andy Curtis to tell us more about the weather. Yeah, the reason we're all freezing across the state today are the temperatures, and they are not going to get any better anytime soon.